Hey everyone, I'm your host Yibo, and this is It Never Ends, part 182. In the movie The Watch, we see this group all wearing this jacket, which has this on the logo. Conveniently, they find aliens, which turn out to be reptilians. Interesting, right? Maybe that's why we see the one eye. If all this wasn't enough already, we can see that in the movie, the aliens come out of a square hole in a supermarket. Now, if that wasn't enough, guess what? They possess human vessels. That's the only way to kill us. Severe trauma to the dick. That's where our brains are. Like all guys, am I right? You know it. Going back to Julio Fulio's brother for a second, though. Julio Fulio on the left makes me think it relates to the secret. Could this be why an alien covenant we see the one eye? Why do we see it in this video here? It's about aliens and guess what we also see? Themes of possession. Which makes everything else that we're seeing much more questionable. In the Amy Adams movie Arrival, we see aliens as well. But this time, they communicate through signs and symbols. Which should make everything else much more questionable. Also to speak with them, they had to go up to a rectangle, which pretty much is a square, so just like in the watch, it's the same symbolism. In the TV show Childhood's End, we see the Baphomet, which guess what, came down to Earth and describing himself as an alien. Maybe that's why we see this one eye in the same show. Over and over, it's here, and it's very obvious. In the same shot where you can see the all-seeing eye capstone, we see the eye of Horus, which makes everything else that we're seeing much more questionable. Could any of this relate to the reptilians? Again, it never ends.